Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here and Wonder Puppy, and uh, I'm going to be talking about Rocas Leon Lavicius Martial Arts Journey's Ultimate Self Defense Championship, uh, and the guys participating. What I like about it, what I don't. I like that it's a good idea. I hope he actually gets it done. But look at the guys participating. I see Butt Mike, who is not even an amateur level kickboxer. He's a self taught guy when he lost his cop job. Allegedly, I've heard because he doesn't drive very well, but I don't know if that's true. Um, and uh, at least he was a cop, but he's less than, than less than amateur level kickboxer. He can't even win a puzzle mat, less than amateur fight. There's no commission there. It's not a ring. Fighting ninjas in the woods doesn't matter. Uh, doing wounded crane stands, looking bad. In the second round was Blackie Chan, who looks like the instructor, and him who looks like the beginner. Really low level. Yes, yeah, Sensei Seth, which the only reason for him, uh, of course, with Rokas, it's only about views. It's only about popularity. Seth has nothing other than a Kempo black belt, which means absolutely jack shit. Uh, he's got some sideways stance kicks, and that's it. He has no boxing. He has no throwing, wrestling, judo. He has no grappling on the ground. I mean, it's really pathetic. So he doesn't belong there. But instead of three low-level guys, which you get, and two middle-tier guys, it should have been two low-level level guys, AC Mike and Rokas, get rid of Seth. Two mid-tier guys being Ramsey Dewey and Jeff Chan, there's an asterisk, I'll get to that. And two high-level actual self-defense experts. If it's a self-defense championship, shouldn't you have people that have actually been in street fights, that were bouncers, someone like myself that has a combatives and street jiu-jitsu instructional on BJJ Fanatics? It should be people actually skilled. Instead, you get Seth. So I don't get... Uh, it's only about views, it's only about clips. Cl uh, with him on his Facebook page and he must have read it because I said he should get an actual self-defense expert. Someone like myself or my friend Remy, martial arts one-on-one, -on -one, bouncer, video street fights, uh, or, you know, actually skilled martial artists that would turn it down, like uh, Eric Paulson or a Greg Nelson, you know, people that were really skilled, but also skilled, not just in the functional MMA styles, but, you know, did stuff like Kali stick fighting and knife defense and stuff too. So it should be something like that. So let's look at some of my random knife defense while I continue talking. So uh, Ramsey Dewey, mid-level guy. Uh, any fight footage we have, it's very bad. He claims he's a purple belt. He looks like a blue belt to me. Maybe he's leveled up in the last year. Uh, is, he says the name's a judo and acts like he's an expert and stuff, but like he doesn't step in. Like like four-year-olds have better judo skills than him. He doesn't know how to even step in. Oh, this is oh, Sotogari, like you just reached. He doesn't understand 45 degrees. He doesn't understand any of that. And more importantly, he has a video that says, you don't know violence and neither do I. He's never been in a fight. Why is he in a self-defense championship? Okay, so you put him in mid-tier. Even Jeff Chan, I'm going to put mid-tier. Jeff Chan's going to be the best at this just because of his cardio and his skill. Just because his cardio, his speed, his higher level attributes and his higher level skill than everybody. He's uh, pro MMA, even though at a very low level, and he's got high level striking skills. His uh, grappling skills have gotten a lot better now that he's a brown belt. Uh, I always praise the striking skills and breaking down and shifting and all that, but his grappling skills before were not that great when he was a purple belt. He had armbar video teaching stuff wrong instead of putting the weight over the guy before going for the armbar. But anyway, now he's a skilled guy. However, he has had no self-defense training that I know of other than recently. Now he's at the JKD school in New York and JKD is about scientific street fighting. So uh, maybe now he knows how to do a 45 angle kick to the balls. Uh, but other than that, really no self-defense training. Do they have... Knife defense training. Even in Rokas's little thing in Australia, where's the firearms defense? Not all countries just gave up their guns and got told to, you know, stay home for two years with, and just put up with that. Um, so where's the gun disarms? Where's the knife disarms? Uh, nobody there has any of that skills. They've never been in street fights. Other than Rokas, I guess, is the most experienced by running away from five guys. Uh, you know, Icy Mike, I'm sure he always had backup because he's only this tall, so who's going to take directions from him? He's got a gun on, but, you know, I'm sure he always had backup anytime he went hands-on with somebody because that's laughable to think of someone like this tall, like actually, you know, again, doing well against a resisting opponent that, you know, weighs 240 like I do. Yeah, so he should have had some real people in there. And then when I said that, I'm sure he read it, 
He calls out, because it's all about views with Rokas, it's all about money, he calls out Dale, Detroit Dale, urban self-defense, blah, blah, blah. I never really looked on the guy that much. My former student, Big Henry, the 6'4 guy, see my 52 blocks boxing videos and sparring videos with. Uh, he would send it to me, and i just look for a couple seconds, just like I do with that little Shane troll, and go, this guy can't even do a push-up. There's no way. The guy has no power. He's got nothing. But he calls him out because it's a win-win. I call them out, ha, 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 and if he actually did it, it gets me more views. Um, instead of getting an actual bouncer, an actual someone that's been in street fights, an actual self-defense expert that can do, do gun disarms like I'm doing here, knife disarms, that has fought multiple attackers before, that has faced weapons before, why wasn't it two low-level guys in Icy Mike and Rokas and two mid-tier guys in Ramsey and Jeff is a mid-tier guy just because he hasn't fought high-level MMA and he has no actual self-defense expertise. So he's still, even though he's the highest level, he'll win because of higher-level attributes and higher-level skill because, well, both those things matter, but no higher level guys. So unfortunately, uh, guys, I'm kind of interested, but it's only about clicks. You calling out Dale, you putting Seth in. What, what is Seth? Nobody. Seth is nobody that is, is no nothing. At least Mike, the IC troll, is a self shitty, less than amateur kickboxer, but he was a cop. Um, at least that, right? At least some playing around with weapons and all that stupid shit he does for kids. Maybe like some of that would be good. Uh, basically, unfortunately, it's not a real self defense championship. Of course, all them fucking suck. Jeff will win it. Uh, a couple things, maybe Mike will, just because he plays with weapons like a little kid. Uh, but maybe, uh, but Jeff should win it because of higher level skills and whatever. But that's not the ultimate self defense guy. He hasn't fought multiple attackers. He hasn't been in a lot of street fights. He wasn't a bouncer. He wasn't a guard. He didn't do security work. He hasn't faced weapons before. So at the end of the day, does it matter? No. If only he would have actually done something that could help people go, okay, let's look at low-tier martial arts skills, mid-tier martial arts skills, and high-level like guys that actually train for, think about weapons, fights, multiple attackers, and things like that. Do those guys do a lot better? And then it could have been worthwhile and people could have seen the difference. Unfortunately, Rokas is all about those clicks, Rokas. All about those clicks. You don't invite a real self-defense expert. Instead, you just call it Dale for clicks. And that's what's too bad about it. You invite Seth, Kempo guys, nothing to offer. Where are the real self-defense experts? Instead, it's just high school popularity bullshit, even though Mike's in his 40s and, and Rokas is in his mid-30s. Uh, 